Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now today I'm um, going to take a brief break from my uh, series looking at the recent Sudoku Grand Prix. Have a look at a puzzle that's been sent in to us by a fairly new viewer called Jay who um, has sent this in from a Norwegian newspaper called Dow of Eason, and you'll have to pardon me if my um, Norwegian pronunciation is off or indeed if that wouldn't even work in Danish, which I know a bit, know a bit better. Um, so I'm going to have a look at this puzzle and see how we get on with it, just to uh, find out what's going on here. So starting with some sevens on the right, those two play with that one into this square to leave that as the only place for a seven there. And yeah, sevens on the left. Uh, what's happening with... There we go. Sevens on the left have to be in columns one and two at the top and in columns one and two at the bottom. So the middle box needs a seven there. That's quite a nice start. Threes must be there or there. Fours in column five at the top. Eights could be anywhere along this row. Um, four, one, three. Oh, four, one, three in this bottom box here and 652 already given in the row and the others are 7, 8 and 9 5, 2, 6, 3 must be over here, it's the last place left in the bottom row for a 3 that gives us a 3 here um, what else can we find? 3, 9, 1, 7, 8, 4 the only place for a 4 in column 8 is now there um, right, similarly with columns 1 and 2, 4 is now restricted into this box and in this box. So this is now a 3-4 pair up in the top box. And we have a 1-8 pair Oops, going on here. 1-8-7-3. One of these is a 2 and the other one's a 5. So the 4 is kicked out of those that pair of squares. And we get a yet another pair in this box. Three pairs now. Seven and one complete the first column. And another six, nine pair up here. So I think this is going quite well with all these pairs. That's a triple. And we don't know exactly which way round they go. So five, six, eight, four up here now has to be here. In fact, the three, four pair was resolved immediately. I just didn't spot it. That's a nine as a hidden single now. Um, two or three there, two or three there. Now Jay did say he got quite a lot of numbers placed and then got stuck so we may not be through this one yet although it's been going quite well. Three there now that's because three is ruled out of um, uh, is that right? Why did I put a 3 in here? Because it can't be a 2 in the top row, right? that's why. Yes. Fair enough. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 3 is one of those two. 1 and 5 are a pair, but offset in that box. 6 must be in one of those. 4 is left to only be there. That finishes off the bottom right box entirely. Now we can fill in that triple. Those are coming out quite neatly. So three, two, four, six. One, one, that's a one. Now they've been resolved. Four, two, five, that sorts out the nine, six pair. This is one and nine. This is an 853 set. 9473. These are 6 and 8 in some order. We've got 295 down the outside there. I think this is going okay now. But we still need to finish off. What should I be looking at next? Ooh. Don't tell me we're going to get a little bit stuck now because that would be quite a strange point. Um, in the solve to. Now we could make a uniqueness assumption because of the 2-5 there. 
this can't be a 2-5 pair, but let's try and avoid that for now. Um, 3 is one of those. 1 must be in one of those two places because of this one and this one. 2 is restricted to the middle column in the box. 6 is over here somewhere. Still 5, 9 and 8 and not many restrictions on them yet. So maybe this is still holding up some resistance at this point. 2, 3. Now how do we get through this now? Let's see, what am I not spotting so far? Six, nine, six, eight. I mean, there's not much left to do. We could probably work on a logic chain from one of these ones. Um, so if this was a 1, that would fix this 1, 8, and this 1, 9 as well. 1, 8. Um, that 8 wouldn't much help, though. The 9... 9 would resolve that into an 8, that would become a 3, that would be 2, but we know that anyway. So let's just follow it through. If this was a 1, then I think this is probably actually going to be the answer. So 2, it also, that resolves 5, 2, we've also got the 8, 1 resolved. knew one of these two would be a 9, that fixes that as a 9, this is a 9, that puts a 6 in there, 6 there, 8 there, yeah, and I mean that finishes it off, but it was, that was quite an odd finish there, and the, the old logic chain had to come into play, which uh, Simon wouldn't be impressed by it. If you could see your way through that from the point at which I got a little stuck, then uh, I'd be quite interested to know how that worked. Yeah, so that's the solution to the puzzle. Let's just go back a bit and see if that was obvious. So we got to this point... Here. This was a 1 or a 2. Now, if we'd put in a 2 there, would that have broken the puzzle immediately? But it's not, no, sorry, it's not a 1 or a 2. Those aren't candidate markings, they're Schneider markings. So if that was a 1, which is the alternative possibility, um, I don't think that would resolve all that much very quickly. Obviously, the 1, 8 and 1, 9 pairs would be the other way around. Ah, oh, that would make that 8 into pair like that. Now 8 in the central box would have to be in column 4 or 5. That would give us an 8 there, 5 there, 3, 5, 4, 3, 7, 6, 5. So one of those is a 2. don't know which one yet. Well, I mean, this does carry on solving, doesn't it? It's not entirely obvious how we were meant to make that decision to me, I must say. It still looks all right. Maybe it's going to go wrong now. Yeah, it has gone wrong. So we've got threes in the same row. So that broke eventually. I didn't quite spot when that did break. When did the three turn up there? As late as then. And had we got any repeats at that point? No. So, I mean... <laughs> It's a logic chain from from that point in when we chose the center circle. 
or when we chose where to put the one in the central box. Now, I mean, if from there you can see something that's more obvious than working it through with the two possible solutions, I'd love to know. But uh, it's not obvious to me. Maybe, maybe Simon would be able to see something better than I can, and maybe you can too. Do let us know in the comments. Do subscribe if you're interested in this sort of content. Um, and uh, we've got a new puzzle coming up soon on Patreon, which I think is going to it's going to look quite nice. I think it solves quite nicely too. So, for those of you who subscribe to us on Patreon at Cracking the Cryptic, that's a little monthly bonus that you'll be getting. Um, thanks very much for watching, and hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic soon. Bye for now.